Welcome to the era of AI. Hello and welcome. In this lecture, I'm going to introduce you to how you can swap your face on Midjourney. Without further ado, let's get right into it. So you can travel the world practically with a couple of prompts. Let's go and check how that works. So here we are inside of Midjourney. First thing is first is what I want you to do is I want you to go ahead and make sure that you freeze your screen right now and uh, write down this link on a notepad. Now, this is the link, discord.com slash O-A-U-T-H-2 slash authorize uh, question mark client uh, hyphen ID equals da, da 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 Make sure that you type this exactly as it is. This is a link that you're going to need. So go ahead and pause. I'll give you three seconds. All right. So assuming that you've got the link right now, I want you to go ahead and make sure you copy this link onto your clipboard. Next thing is click here on the plus icon to add a server. Click on create my own for club or community. Give it a name. I'm going to say the MDG face swap. That's what I decided to name it. And I'm going to click on create. You can add a photo if you want to add a photo of yourself. Now, in any case, this is the Discord group. First of all, I would like you to paste the link, hit enter, then click on that particular link and then make sure you add to server. The server is MDJ face swap. Click continue, authorize. And once you authorize, you have to pass this test that you're a human. So just wait a second and then click I am a human. Hopefully there is no CAPTCHA or anything. And that's it. So here we are already in the server. So just click close. Now, the only thing that's required is to invite the Majorney bot because, because if I click slash, there is no imagine here, right? I cannot imagine anything. I can only swap. Now, what I want you to do, I want you to go to uh, the, uh, not the direct messages. I want you to click on Majorney from here. And once you've done so, click on the Majorney bot and then click add app and then add to server. And then select your server, MDJ face swap, click continue, authorize, and that's it. Now they're going to ask you if you want to go to the server. We're going to say yes, because we want to go there. I'm going to click I am human. And then I'm going to click go to MDJ face swap. Now we have to imagine an image. So I'm going to click slash, not swap ID, slash Im imagine. And I'm going to imagine some kind of image. I'm going to say Indian, right, Indian man wearing a tuxedo in uh all right i'm gonna add comma golden hour uh near the eiffel tower in paris hyper realistic i'm also going to go ahead to google i'm going to search for the best camera out there that you can find in the world uh, so i'm going to say canon look for canon camera if i look for some canon cameras there's plenty of canon cameras I'm going to take one reference of a camera that's quite expensive. So this one is worth $3,000. This, this, this should do the job. So I'm going to actually copy this. All right. Just the reference, just this. Because this is going to take this in consideration. It's going to take this reference into consideration. So let me copy it for a second. And go back over here. Place the camera type. I'm going to add here at the end, comma, hyphen, hyphen, AR. And this should be about 16 by 9 inches. And I'm going to hit the send button, in which case it's going to proceed on right now to generate a 16 by 9 landscape image of an Indian man wearing a tuxedo at golden hour and so on and so forth. Now you'll need an image of yourself. You'll need to go ahead and take a picture of yourself. So stand in front of the camera and take a picture of yourself smiling or not. Just you can be poker face. You cannot, you, you, if you want, you don't need to smile. But just, uh, just take a picture where you just shoot a, a picture of yourself, just a picture of yourself looking at the camera directly, your eyes opened, everything opened uh, in a good way, in a good lighting. All right, so I'm going to use this picture of myself, which I use Midjourney to face swap me. So I'm going to say I'm one. I'm going to click right over here on the download button, and I'm going to download this particular picture on my computer. Now that I downloaded this picture, this is the perfect picture, you're looking at the camera, smiling a little bit. Uh, make sure your eyes, uh, your uh, your hair is calmed pretty well, and you can see here that we are. This is exactly what I described. Golden hour. It even went ahead and used a great camera type, and you can see that we have the person right here. Now, one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually create another prompt. So I'm going to copy this particular prompt here, and I'm, instead of saying Indian man wearing a tuxedo, da da da, da I'm going to click slash, Im, uh, imagine, but I'm going to add here. I'm going to add close up. 
close-up picture of Indian man wearing a tuxedo, da da da. And now I'm gonna hit, hit enter. So now it's going to generate a completely different image than these. These are good, but they're not close. So they're not, there is not much detail uh, shown. Now, once I basically have the image being generated, I want you to go ahead and click here on slash. I want you to click save ID, click over here to add the image. I'm gonna add my own image. And here, give yourself an ID name that you must not forget. In this case, I'm gonna say Hamza and I'm gonna hit enter. So this is an ID name that I'm not gonna forget. Also, the images are being generated. I'm gonna grab one of them and I'm going to use it to face swap. Now, I'm gonna click over here. We have a bunch of images. All right, so you can see here we have a bunch of images. Now, pick one of them. Now, to be completely honest with you, I think this one is better. So I'm going to go for upscaling number one. This is the image. So now what I want you to do, I want you to click right here on this image, save the image to your computer, and then you'll find it in your downloads or whatever you want to put it. Now, once the image has been saved, click here on slash, click on swap ID, click to add the image which you want to swap your face with, and then put it there and then come over here and then paste your ID, which is the one that you gave to your image. In my case, it's Hamza. And now if I hit enter in a matter of seconds, you will have the image. Now you have 50 credits a day. Every time you create an image, it consumes about three credits. And here, as you can see, this is the image of myself. And I successfully swapped my face with that particular person. Now, let me show you the magic of AI tools when you learn them in unison. If we combine, I'm only going to copy this part of the prompt. I'm not going to copy the size because I'm going to use Leonardo AI to generate another image. So let's go to Leonardo AI. Leonardo AI is known to generate hyper realistic images, not just realistic images. Not to say not to knock this image off. This, these images are actually pretty good, uh, but we can do better. Now these, they look really legit realistic, to be honest, but we can do better. Now for the most part, let's go back here. And let me go ahead to the image generation feature. And when you when I go there, I can be able to click to go back to legacy mode. And I'll just paste in the exact same prompt that I've used in Midjourney, except for this time around, I'm going to use the photoreal model, which really can generate images that you will not be able to make a distinction between these images and real images. Going back to legacy mode, this mode is good, uh, but it's the new one. I got used to the previous one. They changed the interface, but I'm not really interested in that. I switch to photo reel. The size should be about uh, 16 by nine inches, not nine by 16. So let me go over here, switch it to 16 by nine inches. And I could basically place in the image or the, the, the prompt. And you can see that right now it's going to go ahead and generate an image. And this should also tell you that you can also use the combination of Leonardo as well as Midjourney if you really want to swap and get professional, really legit professional pictures. For example, these pictures can be used for your LinkedIn. They can be used for stories on Instagram. They can be used for pr practically anything you want uh, if you're interested in such a thing, of course. Now, you can see that uh, there is a huge difference in terms of the images. Uh, personally, I like this image a lot, so I'm going to go ahead and download it. I'd like to go back here and click on slash swap ID, click here to basically add my own image or the image of the Indian person. And I'm going to add my name here, which is the name I gave as a tag to my image. And guess what? Next thing you know, we're going to have an image. And I was just wondering how this one turned out. Now, this one didn't turn out fine, but this one really did turn out perfect. And these are the new ones. Now, these will look absolutely more realistic. Have a look. Doesn't that look like I'm in Eiffel Tower, right? It does. And we can have some more fun. We can go and grab another picture. Now you can see that they take the mustache and they take the beard as well because I'm not bearded like this person. Uh, we can take another picture here, for example, this one. We can go back and then click slash swap ID and click here. And every time I'm using this, I'm using three credits, just so you know, click Hamza. These credits, they generally, every day, they get renewed after 24 hours. They get renewed to 50. If you want access to more credits, you can go and go click here on this Pixie link and you go and you can join them on Patreon. I think you could pay a membership, a monthly membership. And uh, guess guess what? This is me at the Eiffel Tower, right? So it's really amazing, isn't it? Hopefully you liked it. 
Passive Income Gen Z, wishing you the best and signing out. <laughs>